Hello again, on my last video I picked open this little rim cylinder lock, cool logo on it, and I told you I got it out of an old door that I found in the skip. This is a section of that door, and inside it was a Union four lever mortise lock. And uh, I've took it apart and had a quick look at it, and the levers are uh, situated differently than your modern Union, so I don't know how old it is. So I'm going to have a go at picking it. There's four levers in it, no uh, false gates, but I'm going to actually have a go at picking it while it's still in the door. It's something I've not done before. I normally just pick them in my hand. I've never come across a lock in a door. So we'll use an homemade tension tool and some 1.6mm piano wire. So yeah, let's see if we can do it in the door. It'll be different. Just even getting your, your wiring is a little bit trickier because you've got to make sure you you're in the lock and not stuck in the wood between the lock which <laughs> I have done a couple of times there you go that's in you see you can see the bolt moving so we've got tension on it right let's see if we can get it open then A little bit tight about it. Back to the front. So let's just drop back down. Yeah, last well, bit of a click there. I was on the back lever. Feels like it's ready to go. Just get onto that front lever. Sometimes you get caught and you you think you're on the front lever and you're not. It's all feeling good. Just drop the tension off a little bit. There you go, we got it. So we'll just spin that round to get the wire out. Now you'll notice it's not fully thrown the bolt. So you can put some wire in and just throw the bolt, but because it's exposed, I'll just push it in. So yeah, let's have a quick look at the levers. Yeah, I've definitely not picked a lot like this before. So let me just show you the lock before I take the cover off it. Look, I've got a patent number on it, a British number and a South African number. These must be blanking plates because obviously that wasn't used because the cover didn't have the cutaway. Let me just show you the cover. See there, look, the cover when it was on. didn't have their answer they must be just blank plates again I've not even come across that before so let's just take the uh, cover off and have a look at the, the levers It's a different mechanism to what I've normally picked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach onto this video another video. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a plastic cover. And I'm going to stick the plastic cover on the front. 
and I'm going to pick it again so this time you can actually see what's going on because it's pretty cool and I've not come across one like that before so yeah I'll attach the video onto this one so I've just knocked this plastic cover up I've took those uh, blanking pieces out of there because I would have had to cut more holes in the plastic so I've just done it for speed the only problem is I haven't drilled my hole big enough so the tension tool is a little bit on the tight side but it will go in because I've, I've just done it so you've got to force your tension tool in there you go and then you can see that will tension up and then obviously your pick wire is a bit tight but it will go so yeah and we'll have a go at picking it there with the uh, plastic cover on and you can see exactly what's cracking off Yes. Like I say, it's uh, it's different. I've not picked one like this before. Let's get onto that back lever. There you go. You can see the back lever just set then. Onto lever two now. So I just get on it. Now, leave a freeze dropped again. Back onto two. One, sorry. Now two. Now three. And we got it open. Let's see if I can get my wire out. <laughs> Told you it was a bit tight. Now, when I picked it earlier, and the uh, tension tool didn't throw the bolts. If you, in fact, I'll zoom in one sec. You can see there, look, it's just not tall enough to throw that bolt. So if it was in a door, you'd obviously take your tension tool out and then you could just put your, your wire back in and just push the bolt over. And there you go. So that's it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Try it a bit.